Hello everyone. Today I am going to explain about random variables. Before going to start the random variables, I think everybody know about the definition of a random experiment. Now, here what is the uh, random variable definition? I will tell you. A real variable x, a real variable x is said to be a random variable. When will you say x is a random variable? A real variable x whose value is determined by the outcome of the random experiment. Whose value is determined by the outcome of the random experiment is called a random variable. For example, I will tell you, I tossed a, uh, a random experiment consists of two tosses of a coin. Two times we tossed a coin. Now consider the random variable, see you will get uh, two tosses, if you call, uh, toss a coin two times, you will get, uh, you will get uh, head, either head, head, either head, 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 tail, tail, head or tail, tail. First time, second time, first time, second time, first time, second time, first time, second time. Two to uh, I tossed a coin twice. Two times I tossed a coin. You may get, there are chances to get first time head, second time head. There are chances are first time head, second time tail. First time tail, second time head. Two times tails only. Like the, there are how many chances, these many chances you will get. Because uh, we are tossing a coin twice. The two into two is a four. One, two, three, four outcomes we have got. Now here two heads one head one head zero heads two heads one head one head zero heads example is tossing a coin two times uh, two times consider the random variable which is the number of heads which is the consider the random variable which is the number of heads zero how many heads we have got zero one two that means zero heads one head Two heads, zero heads, one heads, two heads. Once again, I will tell you. Now, a real variable x whose value, a real variable x whose value is determined by the outcome of the random experiment is called a random variable. Example, now uh, if you toss a coin twice, um, you will get the random variable which is the number of heads you will get. Uh, two heads you will get the outcomes like this therefore uh, the uh, therefore x is equal to x takes the values x takes the values two heads one head one head zero heads therefore x is equal to zero one two zero heads one head two heads like this this is the example of the uh, this is outcome outcome this is the random variable x capital x you have to denote the random variable with capital x here random variables there are two types of random variables are there one is discrete random variable discrete random variable second one is continuous continuous random variable Discrete random variable, can, there are two types of variables, the random variables are there. One is a discrete random variable, another one is continuous random variable is there. Now, a first one, discrete. When will you say discrete? Discrete are we random variable when will you say random variable is said to be discrete random variable a random variable which can assume only a countably countably number of real values it contains only countably finite number of values then we say that it is a discrete random variable x assumes only countably finite if x assumes only a random variable x is said to be discrete random variable if it x assumes only a countably finite number of values then we say that it is a discrete random variable now countably finite number of uh, uh, countably finite number of values then we say that it is a discrete random variable. example is example now within one hour how many telephone calls you will get within one hour how many telephone calls you will get per unit time with uh, two within two hours or within one hour within one hour i have got four 
uh, telephone calls. Within two hours, I may get eight telephone calls like that. Countably finite. In the same way, uh, in a slip test, how many marks you have obtained? Out of 20, you may get how many slip test means out of 20 or out of 10 or out of 25 like that they will conduct how many marks you have got. It is countably finite. Infinite number of marks you won't get, you won't have no, like that. Number of a printing mistake in each page. Examples of a discrete random variable is number of printing mistakes in each page. In a, print, in a page, how many printing mistakes are there? Five mistakes are, you may have or two mistakes, you may have eight mistakes mistakes you may have 10 mistakes you may have but you may you don't have any infinite number of mistakes like that now these are the examples of a discrete random variable number of telephone calls per you per unit time number of printing mistakes in each page in the same way in a what is a marks obtained in a uh, test like that uh, these are the examples uh, a random variable x is said to be discrete if it x, x assumes only fi countably countably finite number of values then we say that it is discrete the second one is uh, continuous continuous are we random variable when will you say random variable is continuously uh, continuous random variable a random variable x a random variable x is said to be continuous if it takes all possible values within certain limits if x assumes all the values between certain limits between minus 1 and plus 1 or between 0 and 1 x it takes all the possible values x takes all the possible values within certain limits certain limits means that may be from minus infinity to plus infinity or that may be minus 1 to plus 1 that may be 0 to 2 or that may be 3 to 8 whatever within certain limits a random variable a random variable x is said to be continuous if it takes all the values between certain limits the certain limits may be depends on the given problem for example it that may be between minus infinity to plus infinity or that may be minus 1 to plus 1 that may be 0 to 1 whatever it may be now in the same way x assumes x takes a random variable x is said to be continuous if it assumes if x takes the values between certain limits between certain limits now this is about continuous now in discrete random variable in discrete random variable you will get a pmf a probability mass function under discrete random variable you will have you will get a probability probability mass function under discrete random variable you will get a pmf a probability mass function what is the probability mass function how to define this probability mass function what are the properties of probability mass function i will tell you now probability mass function where you will get in uh, under uh, under discrete random variable in the same way under continuous random variable you will get a pdf a probability density function under continuous rv you will get a probability density probability density function under continuous rv you will have a pdf probability density function under discrete random variable you will have a pmf probability mass function now what are the different what is the definition of a pmf probability mass function and what are the properties and in the same way what is the definition of pdf probability density function what are the properties i will tell you pmf probability mass function now what is the definition of a probability mass function if x is a discrete random variable why because uh, you under con uh, under discrete only you will have pmf under continuous you have pdf remember now if x is a if x is a discrete random variable taking the uh, almost countably finite or infinite countably finite number of values then if x is a discrete random variable taking countably finite or infinite number of countably infinite number of values then p of xi 
is equal to p of x is equal to x i i is equal to 1 2 3 and so on p of x is equal to x i simply p of x is equal to x i is the formula how to find while doing the sums i will tell you p of x i p of x i means p of x is equal to x i is called probability this is called probability mass function there are two properties are there pmf properties PMF properties. Now, if x is a continuous, uh, if x is a discrete random variable uh, taking uh, countably finite number of values, then p of x i is equal to p of x is equal to x i is called probability mass function. The properties of PMF are the first property is p of x i is always because this is the formula p of x y is always positive p of x i is always positive and the second one is sigma i is equal to 1 to infinity p of x i is equal to 1 these two are the properties of probability mass function while doing the sums we have to use these two properties uh, rem repeatedly now pmf what is the definition if x is a if x is a discrete random variable taking the values uh, countably countably finite number of values then p of xi or p of x is equal to xi is called probability mass function the properties are always the probability mass function p of xi is positive and uh, summation of sigma is equal to 1 to infinity p of xi value is always one these are the properties next uh, pdf probability density function probability density function now this one under uh, continuous random variable we will get that's why probability density function let x is a continuously x is a continuous random variable then the density function that den x is a continuous random variable uh, taking the values between certain limits then the density function fx of x so you have to denote the density function probability density function p of fx of x fx of x you have to call this one as fx of x now you have to denote pmf as a p of xi or p of x is equal to xi you have to denote pmf in this manner p of x is equal to p of x is equal to xi now in the same way you have to denote probability density function uh, probability density function with uh, fx of x now the probability density function fx of x is a continuous random variable defined within certain limits minus infinity my within certain limits minus infinity comma plus infinity within certain limits now fx of x is always integrable always fx of x is always integrable over the range minus infinity comma plus infinity the second one is fx of x is this one is always integrable integrable within uh, limits minus infinity plus infinity and fx of x is always greater than or equal to 0 the third one integral minus infinity to plus infinity fx of x dx is always 1 this is the definition of pdf as well as uh, this is the important definition of a probability density function now fx of x is uh, uh, pdf we are denoting with the fx of x it is always integrable within the certain limits minus limit and plus in plus minus infinity and plus infinity always remember pdf fx of x is positive and minus infinity to plus infinity integral minus infinity to plus infinity fx of x dx is equal to one and one more important definition i am going to explain distribution function distribution function this is also one more important definition we have to denote this distribution function with the capital f of x capital f of x now small f of x pdf now capital f of x distribution function now distribution function a function f is defined uh, defined in this manner f of x x here x is a random variable now the function f is defined for all x by f of x now within
P of capital X less than or equal to X is the definition of distribution function. Limits are minus infinity less than X less than infinity is called distribution function. The function f is defined for all x and denoted by capital F of x and is defined as p of x less than or equal to x. x lies between minus infinity and plus infinity. p of this is the definition of distribution function p of x less than or equal to x. This x lies between minus infinity and plus infinity is called this is called this uh, is called distribution function formula distribution function uh, for a random variable this is the distribution function formula within third uh, minus infinity and plus infinity capital f of x while doing the problems it is very much important thank you very much